Uh, good evening, Shalom, brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Brother Steve coming back with another video. My brothers and sisters, I uh, just want to come to you guys with uh, with uh, a quick uh, news report. Now, brothers and sisters, um, first of all, I just want to I want to uh, I want to give my shout outs to. Uh, my brothers and sisters over there in the city of Oakland, California. And uh, I also want to give my shout out to uh, Dr. Rick Wallace. Uh, brothers and sisters, um, today what I'm, I'm reporting on is I'm reporting on the, the death and the senseless murder of a brother, uh, a strong Hebrew brother by the name of uh, Dirk Tollison. His name was Dirk Tollison. And Dirk Tollison was essentially murdered. Uh, he was murdered, I believe, uh, a, a, a day or two ago. Okay. Now, Dirk Tollison basically was an educator in a city in, in, in the city of Oakland's public school system. Okay. And apparently, apparently, uh, according to the news, he was basically. Uh, uh, he was shot. He was murdered and shot inside his house. Uh, the story goes where apparently there were two assailants that went to his house. They did a kick door. Uh, they ran in there, shot him, and then shot his wife in the arm. Uh, Mr. Dirk Tollison lost his life. But you know, brothers and sisters, I just wanted to basically... Uh, tell I want to pay homage I want to give honor and respect due to a, a Hebrew brother that was out there in the city of Oakland doing the work as an educator now Dirk Tollison had a, a background in uh, law so the brother could have been do, working in any other capacity making a whole lot of money you understand what I'm saying and uh, instead of him making the money and riding the rays of corporate and doing this and that, the brother was at the grassroots. He was investing in the young men and the, and the young ladies. Now, brothers and sisters, I didn't know Dirk Tollison um, personally. I happened to have come across, I happened to have come across uh, a video. And when I seen educator, uh, when I seen an educator, a teacher that was senselessly murdered. I, I looked at the video and I wanted to take a look. Um, brothers and sisters, I haven't divulged this to you. I, I never divulged this to you. You know, there's a lot, obviously, that y'all may not know about me, and that's fine. Um, brothers and sisters, I also used to be a teacher. I taught high school uh, when I got a college, actually while I was in college, and I, uh, I taught here in Detroit. I taught through a program through Wayne State University. It was called the Higher Education Opportunity Center Program where they took, you know, student, I mean, they took um, undergrad uh, students and they put them in Detroit Public High Schools. And I went into the high school, DPS, uh, Detroit Public High Schools, and I taught social skills, ACT, ACT SAT preparation, uh, basically, at that time, uh, social skills and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, now, I never got, now, I wasn't certified in anything, but it was a program that was open to me, and I took advantage of it. And, you know, so I understand I, I was there for six months or so uh, before I, I transitioned to, you know, going corporate side and doing other things in private sector work and, and, and also public sector. Uh, now, Brother Steve, you know, he's worked in a lot of different various capacities. I worked uh, in city government. I worked in state government, been a mentor, a teacher. So, brothers and sisters, I ain't never really divulged that to you. It don't matter. It's all good. But that video hit me because, you know, it, it, it moved. It struck a chord because here it is. You got a brother by the name of Dirk Tollison working in the hood, working for the Oakland public school systems, doing the work. 
and somebody be, and and, I, and from what I seen and from what I heard, this brother was doing it. I mean, he was basically trying to uh, pa pass municipal legislation for uh, for our, for our brothers and sisters living in the hood to get free internet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I give y'all a prime example. Brothers and sisters, when this scandemic went down and the kids was out of school, uh, excuse me, y'all got to think, there was a lot of, you know, a lot of students that live in, in, in uh, impoverished areas, the hood, you know, even in the suburb of rural areas. Let's, let's keep it real. There's people, there's kids out, you know, there's kids out in the suburbs and rural, and rural areas that don't have access to the internet. And a lot of those kids suffered during that time because they were stuck in the house. They had they had nothing to do, nowhere to go, so on and so forth, and they had no access to the internet. Uh, brothers and sisters, I came across, uh, I can remember I came across a story where there was a young man that basically, uh, because he didn't have the internet service in his house, what he used to do is he used to, uh, he would walk up to his school, okay, and, and, you know, obviously so he could get lunch, you know, uh, so he could get lunch, so he could use the internet, so he could have access to do his work. Because, like I say, a lot of these kids, uh, you know, they didn't have internet at, at the houses. Their, their parents couldn't afford it. They lost their jobs. So in this particular story, this young man used to go up to the school, and what he would do is he would sit outside the school doors, you know what I'm saying? He didn't go inside the school building. He would sit outside the school doors. Okay? So, a lot of, a lot of uh, kids was in that situation all over the place. And, uh, you know, I think about the type of things uh, of, of, what this, of what this brother did. What this Hebrew brother did. And you know what? Brothers and sisters, this is the problem. This is the main problem. Now y'all understand why Brother Steve talk about some, some of the certain things that I talk about. Judases, traitors, murderers. Here it is, you got a man, a brother, built like, look like me. Education, giving back. And here it is, because he was investing in people. From what I, from what I, from what I heard, he was the type of brother that he would push the envelope. He was willing to talk and discuss certain things that most people didn't. He was a fighter for those kids. A strong black man doing it. Had a, had a, had a, doc, had a, had a law degree. This brother could have been making a lot of money. But instead of, instead of him going that route, he chose to invest his time with the kids in the Oakland public school system. And here it is, you got, you had some hating ass Judases and reprobates go to his house, murder him, shoot his wife. Now, brothers and sisters, I have to talk about this. This is the plague that's plaguing our people. The hatred, the jealousy, the envy. For what? All this brother was doing was trying to get back to his people. And now here it is. A life was taken. In the process of his wife being shot. In the arm. In the old confines of his own home. In the city of Oakland, California. Brothers and sisters, justice, judgment, and repercussions. I decree and declare justice, judgment, and repercussions on those murderers, those reprobates, those traitors, those Judases. See, because of what our people have been through historically, because of the atrocities and the evil, the evilness and the things that have happened to our people, See, I understand the pain. 
I understand the psychological and spiritual damage that has happened. But you know, brothers and sisters, when do we get to a place and to a point to where we stop pointing at everybody else and start looking at self? And when I talk about self, I'm talking about our people. I can guarantee you the people that murdered him probably looked like him, looked like me, looked like you. That's why, bro, that's why, I be, that's why when I talk, I talk in a very, very authoritative manner. Because the Most High God, Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya, Bashim, Yashai, Wabawat, may be strong and masculine. A leader, a man of war, a man of truth, a man that love family, a man that love children, a man that love righteousness, a man that love Christ, a man that loves all people. Where will it stop? When? It hurt me to the core to see that brother murdered senselessly. He was targeted. I mean, these people went in and they kicked in his front door. Let me show y'all a picture of let me show y'all a picture of who this was real quick so y'all can see who I'm talking about. I'm gonna show y'all a picture of who I'm talking about. His family. Hold on for a second, y'all. Hold on real quick. This was the brother right here. That's the brother right there. Dirk Tallison. City of Oakland. City of Oakland. City of Oakland public school system. Educator. Law degree. An investor in human resources from the from the grassroots, building up young Hebrews, young brothers and sisters, our children, our future. He was doing the work. And for what I heard, he was willing to do things that most people weren't willing to do as an educator. And I can resonate with that because I'm like that. Willing to speak on matters, willing to get out here, willing to get out here in the hood, get out here in, in the streets, doing the work by myself. So it angers me. Senseless killing, genocide, genocide, hatred. I pray they find, I pray they find the people responsible for his murder. I pray they find him quick. And I also decree and declare justice, judgment, and repercussions swiftly. On the behalf of Dirk Tollison. I pray that the Most High avenge him. Swiftly, immediately, let the murderers that took him out be chased day and night. Let them be found immediately.
whoever they are. You took an innocent man away from his family. You took an innocent man away from his, from his people. You took an innocent man that was investing and building. You took a valuable asset away. And why? Because of your hatred. Your jealousy. Justice, judgment, and repercussions on those evil, wicked doers and murderers. For the family of Dirk Tollison, this is Brother Steve E. out of the city of Detroit. I love you. To all my Oakland family out there in Cali, Shalom, bless you, and I love you. The Most High God will avenge. Like scriptures say, the Most High will avenge. He will repay. Christ will repay. It's a righteous thing. Book of Thessalonians. For the Most High to avenge. It's a righteous thing. For the Most High to afflict those that afflict us. The great ones. Whoever y'all is out there, y'all took a good brother away. Y'all took a good brother away. Well, I ain't got too much to say on this uh, video. I, I also, also want to thank, once again, um, uh, excuse me, brothers and sisters. I want to thank... Um, I want to thank uh, Dr. Rick Wallace for the reporting and the information. And once again, uh, my prayers, our prayers as a community all across the United States, wherever you are, our prayers is, is with, you know, with your family, the Tollisons. May the Most High God in Christ and the Rawak Holy Spirit comfort you in your time of need. My prayers is with you. All right, this is Brother Steve, Shalom, bless you, and I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Peace.